cut short because of a family problem, but I am back. Now where we left off, we were going to Beartooth Point to look at some downed wires, and we also found Church Reynolds. <laughs> Our turtle. So, we also found an abandoned cabin and whatnot. Uh-oh. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Well, looks like we found our culprit. And I have to climb down. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, yeah, that's down up here. Definitely down. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay, so what just happened there is, um, we found out that the girls cut our communication wires. So I am off to go scare them and make them go back, and I found a backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin, huh? Let's see what he's got. A camera, okay. <laughs> and ropes. Well, Hell, I um, am flush with ropes now. Helpful. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's Frog lucky. in my throat or something. There's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this, uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a lover you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored.
hard as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? And looks like we have a thing of smoke, too. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it, too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Alright, so now we have a possible lead on where those two girls are. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go see if we can find them. And scare them. Oh, what's this here? We have a fence. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Wouldn't you liken to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. I would definitely liken to know what a lichen is. I think it's a flower or something. So we've discovered a fenced-in area. Nice. And looks like there's some old burned forest. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Do you like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Okay, so flapjack means, like, loser or something. She's not talking about me. She's talking about somebody else, I think. Here's a supply drop, but I'm not really interested in that, so... Because we are on our way to go... Scare the crap out of some girls. What does <clears throat> she have? She's got all I'm talking about Julia. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating, especially for her, if you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. All right, well, we've officially learned... Uh, about Julia a little bit more, so that's always nice. There's a nice view of Thunder Canyon right there. We'll have to take a picture. on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> We've just been called Evil Knievel. That's always nice. Alright, so, more climbing, a lot of climbing today.
We'll give our guy a break. No more climbing. Unless we have to. Like this right here. He's okay. He's somewhat fit, I think. Pull out our map and see exactly where we are. Okay, so we just passed the Thunder Canyon. Two forks is right over there. And I think we're headed down here toward Five Mile Creek. Because that circled campfire smoke. So I guess we'll just keep heading this way. We'll head for Jonesy Lake. Been here. Wait. Do I need to go this way or do I? Yeah. Okay. So we'll head toward Jonesy Lake. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. Wow, that's nice. It's a nice view. There's the clawed up tree. I definitely know where we are now. There's the smoke. It's getting closer. This game's pretty fun. Rope hook. See if we can get a scenic view of the mountains here without getting the smoke. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, well, at least it's downhill. We don't gotta go uphill. Cripple Gulch. I like that name. Creative. There seems to be another rope hook. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to go this way. make our way downtown through the forest do 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 okay New cash box. Maybe. Nope, yeah, it's new. Copy this map. And there seems to be a missing persons report here. Nope. Let's go back. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Mitch Michaels. Cool. More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. 
Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Well, how convenient. So, looks like you got a little bit of a nature lesson today, folks. Keep that in mind, that these trees are one root organisms. And they share. First graders all around the world would love them. Do, 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 do. Waterfall. Let's get a nice uh, picture of it there. Boop. Let's get an, another nice one through the trees. Gotta exclude that little thing over there. Because that's ugly. It's a strap of cloth or something. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Huh. I wonder why that's there. <sighs> Continue. Radio right in this waterfall, waterfall here. here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Just kind of take that in. All right. View of the mountains, huh? I'm gonna take a picture before we report that in. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. Trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice to see some, uh, whatever, um. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm in the area. Um. Be kind of nice to see some other <coughs> lookouts around, huh? Have some company besides Delilah. Maybe we'll get to see her at some point. Up, oh, I have found I it. See it campsite and it looks like they've got a fire is it them that seems like it i swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here four cases of beer you. what a job this is holy crap i found my sheets so they did break into your tower looks like Dang. i have entered the teen zone oh really and where's that it's the name of a magazine for girls. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. They can drink. Oh my god. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe... You should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, 
Did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. What is in store for us on day three? This glorious day of day three. Because three is a magic number. <clears throat> and I'm finally repairing my window. And I have to go find more boards. Dang it. I want to to find boards. I don't care. Hey, Henry. Very nice. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Okay. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see, in my scope, well, I can only more. tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC, or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like, good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A, a thick pretty beard. thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm... like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need. And I Absolutely. have her up. Okay, let's turn on the lights. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Dirt Reynolds. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Well, that was quite the jump. Almost a week has gone by since that uh, boarding up of the window. Let's see if day nine holds something exciting.
It's a sandwich. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Well, that was nice. Oh, alright. Uh, about halfway through another week ish. I don't really know. It's day 15. It's been like half a week since. It's been, it's been six days. I get. Okay, my thing seems to not want to load. Stand by, technical difficulties. Okay. I might have to end this one here. For technical reasons.